Okay, so I'm walking to the corner of the street that I work on to meet my friend who's going to pick me up and take me home from work. And I'm looking down the street and I'm waiting for my friend to come and I see this giant massive boat of a Cadillac pull out of the driveway of the retail space across the street from us and totally cut off the smaller car. And I'm standing there and I'm like, what an idiot, like what the fuck are you doing? And so when she gets up to the corner where I am, I shook my head at her. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? She's like, what's your problem? I'm like, you almost crashed into that other woman. And she's like, so? And I'm like, okay, whatever. But you almost crashed into this other woman. And she's obviously, like, she already honked her horn. She's probably done with it, whatever. But it was probably scary for her. It's just, like, seriously, I don't know, 10 foot wide car comes out of nowhere at you. And then when you honk your horn to get her to stop, she just keeps going. So I'm like, okay, you almost crashed. And the woman actually rolled down her window. She's like, what's your problem? Have you never made a mistake? Yes, I've made mistakes. I have made mistakes. I have made plenty of mistakes. I'm not a perfect human being. But if someone called me on the mistake, I'm probably like, yeah, that was a mistake and it shouldn't have happened and I'm probably gonna be more careful in the future and maybe I'm just a bigger, better person or whatever, but I mean, I'm not gonna call me a bitch for calling her out on your stupid, dangerous behavior. 30 seconds before this woman did this, by the way, a massive transfer trailer truck thing did, like, was going way too fast up the street. And if she turned in front of this trailer, she would be dead. And then I'd be calling the cops going, or ambulance, hey, there's a car accident. I mean, I don't know, I just think that we as a society don't call people on shit on a regular basis. Like, for example, I see people jaywalking all the time. I jaywalk on a regular basis, I mean, but I generally look. So this guy ran out of the SkyTrain station, and the SkyTrain station is in the middle of the block, okay? It's in the middle of the block, and the entrance opens, and it goes straight out into the middle of the street, basically. He comes running out of the SkyTrain station and runs out into the street. Now, you're going to get hit by a car and killed doing that. Because those cars, at like 5 o'clock in the morning when I'm standing there waiting for a bus, they're not looking for you. They're driving, drinking coffee, Starbucks, talking on the phone. And it's dark. So they're not going to see you. Oh, another thing. Like, seriously, if you litter and I see you doing it, I'm going to tell you to pick up your junk. Because... It's my neighborhood, and you're throwing garbage all over it. What the f What the fuck? What's wrong with you? You're littering? Why are you littering? There's a garbage pail five feet away from you. I saw this happen. I actually called him on it, and he called me a bitch. Just see, maybe I am a bitch, because I call people on antisocial, fucked up behavior. It doesn't make any sense. Why the hell would you drive like a maniac, litter all over the place, curse and swear at people who tell you to behave yourself. I'm sorry, I would like to live in a city that doesn't have traffic accidents every 10 minutes and that isn't covered in other people's garbage. Maybe that's an unrealistic expectation. I'd also like to not be hit by a car. You know, I expect people who drive cars to be paying attention to what they're doing. Because if you don't, you're gonna kill someone pretty simple. You might not kill someone today. You might not kill someone for like 60 years, but one of these days you're going to do something which is going to hurt somebody. Pay attention. That's all there is to it. All you have to do is pay attention. All you have to do is clean up after yourself. All you have to do is be a responsible human being and not expect other people to take the responsibility for you. Because that's what she expected. This woman who turned in front of the um, other car. She expected the woman who was coming up the street to stop for her. And she did not stop. She did not even remotely put on her brakes when she heard the first car horn. She probably didn't even hear it. She probably had her stupid stereo turned all the way up. Just, whatever. I just really think that if you do something and it's really bad or dangerous 
you should expect someone who sees you doing it to call you on it. And if you don't expect that, then I think you've been raised wrong. I think you've been raised to believe that your actions have no consequences and you could do whatever the hell you want and no one's ever going to get hurt. It's not a video game. If you crash into somebody's car in Grand Theft Auto, you can hit reset and start over again. If you crash into somebody's car in the real world, you are going to possibly hurt someone and do some damage to another human being. Another human being. This is not some fictional character in a book. This is you hurting someone. I'm angry about this. I really am. I think it's ridiculous. I think it happens all the time out there in the world and people don't say anything and I think that that's on us. If we don't say anything, then the next time that they do that and they think, oh well, I got away with it last time, nothing happened, it's okay to turn. And then they turn in front of the transport truck, I think that that's on us. I think that's on these entire, not like me personally, whatever, she probably think still thinks I'm a bitch, she's probably making a YouTube video about, this bitch told me to watch where I was going. But the next time, if you turn into a transport trailer, there's not anything I can do to help you. I tried to tell you, you didn't want to listen. That's on you, not on me. Have a nice day. That's my kid. Stop.